Electric Power Assisted Steering is here and provides an electrical power steering unit adaptable to most vintage vehicles so you can enjoy modern power steering on your classic car. EPAS Performance can be installed on most cars, trucks, domestics, and imports from the 1920s throughout the 1980s. The EPAS Performance can also be mounted on race cars such as road race cars and off-road trucks. No major or irreversible modifications are made to your vintage vehicle as everything is located under your dash and it's almost, if not, completely invisible. The computer measures the amount of effort on the steering wheel and amplifies it with the aid of the electric motor. A potentiometer allows you to have more or less assistance, so you can adjust the amount of power assist with the more power assist in tight spaces and less on the highway. One of the best things with EPIS is that you have no pumps, ramps, or anything under the hood or under the vehicle. It's all in the steering column. On this 1949 Hudson, we were not able to keep the horn wire in the steering column, but mounted it under the dash. That's a small price to pay, and it's life-changing for older cars without power steering. My name's Don Brown, owner of 1949 Hudson Super 6. It's a fantastic car. Only problem I have with it, it doesn't have power steering. Now that I'm getting a little bit older, it makes a big difference. So I bought the kit from USA Auto Performance in uh, Florida. I talked to Jeff. I said, one of the concerns I have with when you say electric, what happens to the power steering if the electric goes out? He said, it just reverts back to manual, no problem. Okay, well, I bought the kit. It's great customer service out there. And uh, I gave it to Mark Campbell, who's the head honcho of Classic Street up there in Taylor, Texas. Now, they do a good job on restorations, especially Hudson's, and uh, I wanted uh, the best job possible. One of the good things about this kit is there's nothing under the hood and nothing under the car. So they got no pumps, no rams, no nothing. It's all in the steering wheel. Well, Mark uh, turned the thing over to Steve Legere. Uh, I think this guy's got a PhD in auto mechanics an electrical engineer because he knows everything there is to know about old cars, especially Hudson's. So Steve did his magic uh, installing the uh, steering uh, steering column and the uh, the kit together. So uh, he did some pretty amateurish footage on this, I might add, but at least this will give you an idea of how he installed the uh, power steering kit on my uh, steering gear. See? We're putting power steering on a 49 Hudson. These cars originally did not have power steering, and this is a new innovative type of electronic steering for situations where you don't want to change the steering box or you don't have room to add the pump and hoses and belts. It's an electronic unit that mounts entirely in the steering column itself. You take a section out of the steering column cut the steering shaft to fit and also comes with an easy wire hookup. Once the unit's bolted in place, the control box is bolted to the firewall. One wire goes to the ignition, another wire goes to the battery. Also has an adjustment knob to mount under the dash where you can dial it down for a little road feel or crank it up to do some parallel parking. Okay, you can kind of get an idea of what uh, Steve did on the uh, installation process. Uh, I can tell you that my 49 Hudson runs like a top with that power steering. It's even got a little knob under the dash where you can make it heavier for uh, highway driving or lighter for parking lot maneuvering. I uh, just want to let you know that it was uh, fantastic. Now, Steve got this camera bug and he wanted to come back on camera and kind of summarize what he did on the 49. Steve? Yeah, for any of the older cars or custom cars or hot rod, this is the ideal way to go. Okay, the only problem you have would be if you had a horn wire going down the middle of the column, that would have to be eliminated. The other situation would be if when you have a 
shifter tube or shift linkage going along the top of the steering column, what I did was rotate the linkage at the bottom and set it up off the column about one inch. This let it clear the power steering unit. With this unit, you can't use the original horn with the wire that goes down through the middle of the column. A lot of these older cars have shift linkage positioned right on top of the steering column. To clear the power steering unit, instead of adding a floor shifter or eliminating it, you just have to raise the lower pivot of the shift linkage about an inch from its normal position over the column. This can be done easily by moving the clamp or pivot up an inch off the column. On some situations, you won't be able to use the original horn where the wire goes down the middle of the shift column. This can be alleviated simply by adding a horn button under the dash or elsewhere. This is the, probably the best way to add power steering to an older vehicle and to one of the easiest power steering setups to install. Okay, Steve, thank you very much. Boy, I hear CBS and NBC calling you. Well, I want to give a special thanks to all the guys at the Classic Street. Fantastic group of people. They really know their stuff, take a lot of pride in their work. Now, uh, USA Auto Performance, they did what they said they were going to do. The system worked properly, so I'm very happy. Uh, many thanks to everybody, and especially my 49 thanks everybody as well. Thank you. Thank <music> you.